Moza Air 2. The Moza Air 2 comes packed in a retail box. The gimbal and its accessories are stored inside a compact case. Inside the case, you will find the Moza Air 2, a memory quick release plate, one set of batteries which is made up of four 18650 battery cells, camera control cables for Sony, Canon, Panasonic, support rod adapter for the follow focus, a pair of follow focus support rods, a mini tripod, battery charger. If you purchase the optional iFocus accessory, it will come with an adjustable lens gear and a 3.5mm CAN cable. Also included with the Moza Air 2 is a camera riser for smaller cameras. Attach the two brackets to the two quick release plates along with the support rod adapter. After that, attach the camera and the iFocus. We will now go over the parts of the Moza Air 2. At the top of the gimbal is located the memory quick release along with the quick release system. To the right of the quick release system is the lever to lock and unlock the memory quick release plate along with two safety releases at the front and back. Below that is an adjustment for the pitch axis, also known as the tilt axis. Use this adjustment to make fine adjustments to the balance of the pitch axis. There is also a safety release to allow the removal of the quick release system. On the front of the gimbal is located the multi-can port and 12 volt output. On the reverse side is located the 7.4 volt output and camera connection USB port. The pitch motor, also referred to as the tilt motor, this knob adjusts for the vertical position of the camera's center of mass. Note, most first time gimbal users improperly balance this axis. Do not leave this adjustment in the lowest possible position, following the roll arm leads to the roll motor. Above the roll motor is the roll axis adjustment. Continuing down the yaw arm is the yaw motor, also known as the pan motor. Next to the yaw motor is the yaw adjustment. Just below the roll motor, following the yaw arm, is the roll access lock. If the gimbal is operated with the lock engaged, the gimbal's motors will not power on. On the side of the hand grip is the dial wheel for controlling focus and other features. Located on the front of the gimbal is a 3 8 mount with a rosette for extra surface tension. Just below that is the smart trigger. On the reverse side of the hand grip is the status display, 5 weight analog joystick, smart wheel, mode button, FN button, the power button that controls record and stop when using the camera connection cable. On the side of the handle is the DC power input, USB type C port. On the front of the handle is the battery cover release and the battery compartment. At the bottom of the handle is a 1 4 and 3 8 mount. The Air 2 features a clear 